So Spencer just got home with something that we bought that we have needed and wanted for a very long time now. Yeah, it's a car. <laughs> this thing is so cool. <laughs> I am so excited. It's so much taller than I thought it was gonna be. It is, it is. How much more ground clearance? We got our first EV. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> yes. I got it on turtle, so it'll be slow. Turtle mode. <laughs> what a different way to see the property. I prefer this method. Yeah, all right. I think that's the one thing that I don't like about this is I know now I'm not gonna get to go on walks with me anymore. You'll get to go on drives. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a safari ride. <laughs> Spencer is like a little kid on Christmas right now. While up Chattanooga, boy had a dollar and a dime. Get it out from Nashville on the hard rock line. <laughs> working on that old steamboat. Did it feel a lot faster? Yeah. It definitely feels like it has an extra 10 or so mile an hour faster top speed. One thing you really notice is the acceleration. Uh, you get a lot more wheel spin in in the rabbit mode. Really? Yeah. Wait, so how fast does it go? Top speed in uh, rabbit mode is, I want to say 26, which is plenty fast enough for this. I know I keep saying it, but this thing is just so cool. Right. And the best part about it is it's powered by the sun, by our solar panels. That is so cool. Yep, less maintenance and we get to drive it around for free. How good does that feel? Pretty good. <laughs> Before we get back to building the back steps, we wanted to knock one more small thing out inside. Spencer decided to build the shelves for our dining room, and the reason why this got bumped up on the priority list is because doing this would allow us to finally move all of our stuff into our home. We've been living in our house for a while, but we've had all of our belongings stored over in our other shipping container. But now that our closet is done, and with all of the shelving soon being completed, it would mean that we would finally have a home for all of our stuff and that we could officially move into our home. Oh, that looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. You've become quite the shelf maker. <laughs> By like the 12th one, you kind of get it down. So while I'm waiting on the shelves to dry, uh, with their yeah. stain. I'm just going to go ahead and start putting up these brackets on the wall. Uh, I think I know the roughly where I need them, uh, but I guess you don't really know until you're uh, making holes in the wall. I was about to say, don't make the hole in the wrong spot. You worked hard on those walls. Right. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm fairly confident I know where everything is. So. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Can you set it on the table? Look at that. Just solving problems. What do you say, Mama? Mama. You say, Dada? Dada. You, you love saying that. Don't touch that, please. Dada. Yeah. <laughs>
Anybody order a moving truck? <laughs> I cannot believe this is happening right now. You know how many times I've dreamt of this moment? Two. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he looks so big on me right now. But if I put him down, he just screams. So this is how I'm gonna unpack things. And I know this won't last much longer, so I'm gonna soak it in as long as I can. I love you, buddy. All right, let's do this. So as far as this back deck area goes, Spencer now has those top brackets fixed and he has built the whole connection point for where the deck will actually attach to the containers. So today we'll be able to start building this platform. I cannot wait for these steps to be here. So how I did this deck is very similar to how I've done the others. As far as touching the uh, deck to the shipping containers, all I did was take um, some two by fours, thank you baby. Some two by fours. Uh, the reason why I use two by fours behind this two by six is because that C channel only allows uh, for a two by four. The two by six won't fit inside of it. So that's just there to make it flush with the uh, edge of the container. And then I used zip tape because this is all pressure treated wood. Zip tape on the top and the back side just to give a barrier in between the pressure treated wood and that C channel just because I don't want any more corrosion than what's already going to naturally occur. So as far as the fasteners, all stainless steel fasteners with the exception of the corners because they're welded in with regular steel and then I just use galvanized bolts through that. So a lot of steps. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of thought process went in this, but it worked out on the other two decks. So. <laughs> Well, I realized that I forgot to tape something. Not only the top of this, but the back side of this uh, two by six. Everything else, as far as the two by fours got taped on the back side and the tops. I don't know how I missed this yesterday. <laughs> My little helper. <laughs> Gosh, I cannot wait until there is a light up here and we can get rid of that cord. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Would you look at that? We got our rough framing for this back porch off of our uh, master bedroom. Uh, frankly, it just, it's just weird to me. Anytime we do something new, it's always weird. So what we're doing with this is just a little bit different than the rest of uh, the other porches. Like the front porch, we had wraparound steps. The back porch is just one line of steps. So back here, since this is similar to the front, I'm going to do something different. <laughs> Pretty much I'm going to do a mixture of the two. So uh, the size and everything, size and shape and living roof and all of that stuff is the same as the front, but with a handrail on the side and handrails coming down both the uh, size of the steps. So a little bit different, but really it's kind of the same. <laughs> If that makes any sense. How's it going out here? It's hot. It's almost done though. Yeah, looks good. Can't wait to actually get it covered up. Right. <laughs> I know this is probably the worst place to be working right now though. Yeah, it's it's starting to the shade's starting to block the sun, but just as you're about done. Our front steps were a cinder block. Yeah, I don't miss those days. Life it's quite is... the step up. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, it helped. It's plugged in. Good. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> pretend like you're doing it. I can't pretend like I'm tightening a bolt. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough to get the shot. <laughs> 